Uh, welcome back to the next part of uh, semiconductor dyes. I know this is like a super long series of videos, uh, but work with me, people. Uh, this is quite a big segment, yeah, diodes. Okay, so previously I talked about uh, LEDs, yeah, uh, how they work and how we do certain calculations involving LEDs. Uh, but for now, I'm going to tell you what happens when we put a bunch of LEDs together. Specifically, we put seven LEDs together. What happens? Okay. Uh, it's a very useful component that we have uh, because we see it in almost every part of our daily lives. Yeah. So seven segment displays, uh, they're, they're good for uh displaying numbers as well as uh alphabets actually yeah and what many of you may not know is that they actually have this little dot here for the decimal place okay so by switching on the different segments if you notice here oops uh let me erase that away by Switching on different segments, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. By switching on the seven different segments, what I can do is that I can display numbers zero to nine. Now, a lot of questions, a lot of people always ask me, sir, uh, how do I represent six? Okay, six, a lot of people think that it is just like so, okay? But always remember a six has this little top thing there as well. Remember that, all right? Same for a nine, it's got this here, okay? So what we have to do is that we have to turn on and off certain um, segments. So if I label this A, B, C, D, E, F, and the middle one G, if I want a number zero, a zero, I have to have one, A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? So I turn on everything except G. If I want one, I will turn on B and C. So just A, no, B, C, that's all. If I want two, I will turn on A, B, G, okay? Uh, what's this on A, B, C, D, E, okay, to have number two, all right, and so on and so forth. You get the idea. So uh, there are two types of seven segment displays that we have. One is called the common anode and the other is called the common cathode, all right. Uh, so you have to understand its pin configuration and the internal circuitry and how it works. So take a look at the common anode first, common anode, yeah? So you look here, there is something called a common there, okay? Common. And what this means is that this is the common uh, pin that ties up all the seven segment displays. So if you notice here, let's follow this line down. So it's connected to A, is connected to F, is connected to G, it is connected to B, and you follow this line, it's connected to the decimal place, it is also connected to E, it is connected to D, okay? And then it goes back down to common. So as the name suggests, it is a common anode, common anode anode being positive okay so what i what i will do is that maybe i'll connect uh five volts here okay five volts here so all the anode of every uh led will have five volts okay so that means to make let's say a light up to make a light up current must flow from here to here and back out here again right so to make a light up, the current, once again, I say, must flow across. So therefore, you'll learn, and this is the basic 
uh, electricity information, current flows from high potential to low potential. So if I wanted to make A light up, I should have a zero volt here. Okay, a zero volt means here is five volts, here is zero volts, current will flow this way and lights up the LED for A. Okay, so for a common anode, common anode to light up each individual LED, you must put a zero volt. Okay, so where is it? Uh, the segment to be lit must be put to zero volts. Okay, uh, but what they don't show is that you should add a current limiting resistor to it. All right, so if I have uh, here to put to zero, before you reach zero, you should put a current limiting resistor before you put to zero volts. Okay? Can? So if I don't want it to light up, if I do not want it to light up, let's say I don't want E to light up, I'll just put it to five volts. Okay, so E, segment E will not light up. All right? So let's say I want to light up a zero. Remember, common, five, common, five, right? So I want to light A up. To light A up, remember the current is flowing from the anode to the cathode. So it goes up here. It must be a low zero volts. So any segment that I want to be lit up, I will put a zero. So A will be zero, B will be zero, C will be zero, D will be zero, E will be zero, F will be zero, but G, if you look here at G, I put a five volts here. Okay, so that's why G will not light up because five volts and five volts does not have a potential difference. Current will not flow. But what if I have a common cathode? So very similar, very, very similar. I also have seven LEDs. I also have a common at both ends. I also have a decimal point, a decimal place. But this time, the common is connected to the cathode. Okay, the common is connected to the cathode. So that means uh, this will be zero volts. And if I want A to light up, I want this fella to be a higher potential than here for the current to flow in this direction. Therefore, I will put through a current limiting resistor, five volts. Okay, and so on and so forth. So this is what I said earlier. The common pins will be put to zero volts. The segments to be lit will be five volts. And uh, to switch off that segment, you just put it to zero volts. Okay, so same thing to light up a zero. Now the common is zero and I want to light up A, I put A to five and so on and so forth. Okay. Okay, so uh, review question. Pause the video now, try it yourself first before coming back and looking at the answer, okay? Okay, so hopefully you did pause the video and let's see. List the segments that need to be lit uh, so that a digit three is uh, displayed. So a digit three looks like this. Here, 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 here. Okay. Now this is A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So to display a three, I need a A, B, C, D and G segments to be lit. Okay, next. Uh, this is now very important. You have to make sure that it is, ah, so now they say it is a common anode. A common anode means that it is five volts here. Okay, to make sure that segment A is lit, I need to put segment A to be zero volts. 
is B lit? B is not lit, so I'll put it to five volts. Five and five has no potential difference, so current will not flow through B. Segment C is lit, so C, I will put it to, oops, sorry, confused myself. Segment C, I'll put it to zero volts. What about D? D is lit, so I will put it to zero volts. E is not lit, I'll put it to five volts. F is lit, so I'll put it to zero volts. A G is lit, so I'll also put it to zero volts. Uh, the decimal place looks like it is not lit, so I'll put it to five volts. Okay, so uh, hopefully you understand how I make use of uh, seven uh, an LED, put seven LEDs together to make a seven segment display. And remember there are two kinds of displays, uh, seven segment displays that you need to consider whether it's a common anode or a common cathode and how we light up each individual segments, de depending on a, whether it's a common anode or a common cathode, okay? Once again, if you are not sure, please review the video. And uh, the next part is we will be talking about uh, something special called a Zener diode, okay? Uh, for now, that's it from me, take care.